Happy morning, everyone. I still can't hear you guys. Happy morning. Excellent. So uh, to begin with, just where my friend just left uh, the last part where he was talking about community, I think when a people come together for a common purpose, they form a community. It is really that simple, OK? And communities can be of all sorts, right from a community like ours, the TED community, which is a global community spread all across the world with millions of members. And it can be as small as a group of people playing badminton together, right? For me, community is a group of like-minded people coming together and being connected by some common elements. These elements form the core of the group. It, it, it pretty much lays down the basic foundation of the group itself, the community that is going to be built now. If you would see, community, if you divide it, if you break it up, it gives you common plus unity. It's about people united together for a common purpose, something bigger than themselves. That's what community is. Now, communities have existed for the longest time, right? Whether you call it a religious community or a scholar's community, they've been into existence since the longest time. And they have played a key role in defining the world that we live in today. They've pretty much defined us in many ways, right? They, they, they've, they've kind of shaped the world that we are living in today, right? If you, if you look at the Industrial Revolution or if you look at the Indian independence movement, what, what happened here? Was it some just one person taking charge and doing things? No. What happened here is that there were a group of people who had common beliefs, who had common ideologies, who believed in this common cause, something bigger than themselves. And they came together, formed communities to spread awareness, to spread a message, and create a movement, which has given us so much that we have today. Right? Now, again, was it? possible alone. No, it was never. And it would never be. That is the very essence of community, right? Now let us uh, take a few examples. Uh, I'm sure all of us here have seen the movie Padman. I, I have seen it very recently and it's an excellent movie. Now what do you think happened there? There was this young, young man who just figured out that there was this, this little challenge that women of a country were facing. It was a social stigma. And he just took up charge and he said, let's, you know, do something about it. But just imagine if he was the only person believing in it and coming all through it, what would happen? He would probably not have gone outside his own house, probably. That's, that's the max he would have probably achieved, right? It is the belief of others. It is the belief of so many other people, other women that he had. They believed in him. They believed for his cause. They believed that there could be a change and a change that was really required in our society. That's when the movement began. That's where Padman is movie today, right? That we see and we applaud. So it's because of us, it's because of the people who believe in other people, because of them, the movements happen. Now let's just take a, a slightly smaller example, right? Like something which we, which we kind of uh, see or experience in our day-to-day -day lives. So I'm a community builder, I'm a, I'm a co-working space operator, and our co-working space is, is, is a very community-driven space, right? So uh, about a year and a half back, um, we just decided to bring some badminton rackets and a couple of games in our, in our space. And we thought uh, probably this would be something which people could bond over or uh, it could just probably give them some break from their tedious long hours of work, right? Initially, there were like just two, three people who would come forward and, you know, just kind of take it up and play. In fact, we had to pretty much initiate everything, right? But eventually, more and more people started joining. And in about two to three months, we actually organized a badminton tournament for about 30 plus members in our space, just for our space members. And now there's also a small badminton club there. You know, I mean, people have taken up professionally. People are actually playing it very sincerely and uh, they're, they're very dedicated to it. So what I'm trying to say here is that how something as small as this with a certain thought process can actually convert into something so much bigger and so much more meaningful, right? Now, I want to, uh, I mean, all of us in, in small or in a big way are a part of so many communities, right? Like, look at us uh, ourselves in our day-to-day -day life. Our family is a community. Our friend circle is a community. Our place of work is a community. You probably are interested in something like arts or fashion or something. You know, you have a community there. So there are these communities all around the world, all around ourselves, all the time. 
what happens is, what we need to understand is that these communities are trying to bring people together based on certain common ideologies and some common philosophies to do something which is bigger and more meaningful. Now, I always tend to happen, I mean, it, whenever, whenever I go become a part of communities and, I mean, there is always this certain sense of question that goes on that why, why, why is it important? Why are we here? And, you know, what are we doing? And there's an American author who said, uh, Helen Keller, who said that alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Why is it that community is important? Why do we need the, this particular thing? And when I go in and ask people, uh, what is it that you really want to do in life, right? They say, we want to do something great. We want to be great at whatever we're doing. And uh, yeah, we want to be a part of something which is bigger than ourselves. And I ask them why. And they say, because maybe we want to bring about a change, something that can positively impact our society. And I again ask why. And there comes a long pause. Nobody knows why. And nobody would really know. Because beyond, you know, your money, happiness, your skills, putting your skills to use, yada, 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 beyond all of this comes a very psychological sense that you need. You know, something which is there in your subconscious. You want to be a part of something which is bigger than yourselves. Even if you don't understand that, it, it is still there. It is in your subconscious. And that is what we are all yearning for. That is what we are all trying to strive for. Now, you have to understand that all of us want to be a part of something big. You know, we all want to do something that is really great, that is larger than life. You know, when we hear inspiring stories, when we hear success stories, we're like all charged up. We're like, dude, this is amazing. Let's just do it. And you're filled with ideas. And what happens then? Then you start looking at people. Then you start looking at your friends and your family. You want to go to them, share the ideas with them. And the only thing probably at that time that you need is, that, hey, this is amazing, just go for it. This, this sounds wonderful, you know, you should really do it. That's all we need, right? If you look at it, we're constantly looking at people to share our ideas with. Why? Because we can't do it alone. It's, it's just very basic, right? We can only probably take a few steps alone, but then if you want to go really, really far, it's, it's in, in, you know, in getting together and doing things which you all believe in. I'm a part of very many, many communities. I've met a lot of community builders. I've met a lot of community enthusiasts. I myself, I'm a huge community enthusiast. I want to do so much for the society, for the people, right? What I've seen is that this, this beyond these materialistic things, uh, you know, the thing that I said, which is in your con subconscious, I've constantly tried to strive for, to find that answer. And I think so far, what has really, really fitted the best is that we are all looking for a sense of belonging. You know, we want to belong somewhere. We want to be around a set of people that believe in us, that say, hey, oh, you like this? Oh, I like this too. Oh, you think that movie was bad? I think that too. So it can be really, really small. It can be really, really the big things in life, you know? I mean, like, like think of the biggest of the social agendas right now. I mean, it's not something that a per single person thinks of. It's, it's when, you know, you go to someone and say, hey, you know what, this is, this is something which is not happening right in our society and I want to change. There are more people who kind of come forward and say, yeah, that's right, let's, let's do something about it. And then together you start doing something about it, right? What I've realized is that, you know, no matter how educated you are or not so educated you are, no matter how smart and extrovert or introvert you are, we all need that safe space. So we all need that space where we can, which we can call ours, which, you know, which kind of is beyond, which, which allows us to do things beyond ourselves, which, which is, which, which is together much more passionate, more passionate above and over what we are. Right. And that's how I've come down to my own uh, set of equation for what a community is. So I feel the power of community is togetherness plus a sense of belonging plus a core purpose plus care and trust. Now, let's just kind of break that down a little, right? Togetherness, of course, I mean, communities is all about more than one person. So we have to have a lot of people coming together and doing things. A sense of belonging is, is that creates your safe space. You know, it, it, it gives you that space where you can be yourself, where you can, where you know that nobody's judging you, where you know that you're here for something bigger than yourselves. 
Third is the core purpose. I think it's pretty much all of us know, even, even my kids know that uh, core purpose is, you know, something that you have to ask yourself before you're doing anything in life. Like, if you go and ask my five-year-old that what is the most important thing in life, he would say purpose. He probably doesn't understand anything beyond that, but he knows that much. Then comes care and trust. Care and trust, I think, is the basic human wants, right? I mean, I get it. We all want to come here and speak. We all want various awards in life. We want so many things. We want to travel. But after that, beyond that, it's that care and trust that we are all yearning for. We all need our safe space. We need, all need our people, right? Now, most people in the world uh, rely on communities for practical purpose. Martin Luther King once said, the necessities of life rarely come from one's own hand, but rather from a complicated web of mutuality. What he means here is that no matter how much, uh, you know, I mean, we stand for things, it's whatever we want in life is actually a combination of what so many other people are doing, right? So while this is true, there are still a lot of people out there, you know, who want to be a part of larger communities. Why? Because they want to become a part of something which is greater than themselves. They want to be a part of something where they're doing stuff which they can't do by themselves. They want to be a part of something that they can feel passionately about, that that is something more substantial. In fact, if you w Google the word community, actually, why, uh, what is a community? Community is tangible. Community is cohesive. Community brings people together in ways that allows them to do things they don't, they couldn't have done in isolation. Let's just go back quickly to the equation that I made, right? The equation says power of community is equal to togetherness plus a sense of belonging plus common purpose plus caring plus trust. Now, most of the communities have these perfect in ingredients to form the perfect community, right? They still fail. Why? Community is about people coming together, doing some action together. In fact, I, I really like, love this line where it says that success of community is actually equal to individual success and not the other way around, right? But why do you think it still fails? Now, let me just quickly take you back to something very interesting. I'm sure all of us, most of us at least here are on Instagram and most of us are following Priyanka Chopra, right? And if you've been following her, you would have seen that she's very closely associated to UNICEF, right? Why do you think a person like her, who is famous, who has all the money in the world probably, who is very well-to-do professionally and personally, has to take that step, has to, uh, you know, probably go to the, those places that she's going to and actually uh, show her care and kindness? Why do you think she's doing something like that? There, she's playing the role of a community leader. You know, she's she's actually playing a playing her role to bring all of us closer for a for a different cause, for a bigger cause. She knows that she can be she can influence people and she's making full use of that, right? What we need to understand is that she's playing a part that she, she can really excel at. And in the same way, we all have to play our roles. Whatever it is, whether it's of a community leader or a community builder or the person who starts the very thing, or a community member. A lot of us would find ourselves in that position where, you know, we are actually a part of something, like people sitting here were a part of a bigger organization called Road Track. So, so you're, playing, you're constantly playing a role of a member, if nothing else, right? Please remember that that role is really, really important. And that gives me my final equation, which is the power of community is equal to togetherness, sense of belonging, core purpose, trust, care, plus you. That's the key element. That, when that goes missing, the community fails. If we are not playing our respective parts when we are trying to become a part of something bigger, everything just falls apart. We, you know, we're like, we're like a piece of that one giant puzzle. Even if one piece goes missing, the picture is not complete and doesn't look nice and it doesn't reach where it has to reach. It doesn't do the purpose. It doesn't serve the purpose that it is supposed to serve. So let me just today leave you with this uh, little thought. We've all learned when we were kids, we've all learned about the nature's ecosystem and we've learned how, you know, the rains happen, how the different elements of nature work the way they work, right? And we've also heard that or learned that 
how even if one of these elements go for a toss or if if anything kind of goes missing the entire ecosystem is hurt right now just think of communities as these ecosystems they're an ecosystem in themselves and they are a part of a bigger ecosystem which is probably global and you know stuff like that so what i want you to understand is no matter what your role is whether you're a community builder or you're a community enthusiast or you're just a plain simple community member you have a role to play and it is important so please play your role thank you <laughs>